We'll call the meeting to order. First on the agenda is the Copley Trust. Do you want to go first, Gloria? Mm-hmm. 
This is the big room out front. So this is a larger long-term plan, but basically this is the kitchen as it exists now. So what we've done is we we worked with Kittred's rest, restaurant equipment to pick uh, modern, up-to-date equipment that was going to be consistent with what the need was. Like Gloria said, it's not the same kind of need that Meals on Wheels has as a an everyday use for storing vegetables and you know uh, basic products. This would be for an for event no, there, 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 there. where people could come in and prepare a uh, you know a big meal for folks. Uh, probably a lot like the VFW or or some of those folks. So we scaled it down a little bit so the equipment's not as intense, but we put the equipment back in pretty much the same locations as it was. As it was, so that we could maintain plumbing and things like that without a lot of additional expense. So what you see here is a smaller room uh, that could be used for smaller meetings, uh, with a little uh, sink and counter and a refrigerator in it for you know, just a, a meeting or something like that. Um, and we also added an accessible washroom over in this area, so that people could use the washroom if they're in this part of the facility because back here we have washrooms available already. This would be modern, handicap accessible, so you don't have to walk through the kitchen to get into the bathrooms. This one's supposed to be segregated for just the kitchen anyway because of the Department of Health regulations, but this would be the public bathroom, so if you're back here working in the kitchen, people are always going through here now, and it's not the best situation. So that's essentially what we've done. Can I ask what the, when you, uh, without COVID considerations, um, what do you suspect we could put in there um, numbers wise? If we want to host a meal or something like that, what do you think our max capacity would be on the floor plan to have tables and chairs? How many people could we fit in there? For Based on the code, you can fit about 170 people in there. Mm -hmm. uh, for, from a code standpoint. So half occupancy. 85 or so, 70 to 85, I forget the exact numbers. But it's in that range, 50% occupancy. I noticed on um, the equipment to be procured, there's no stove, but on this list there is a stove. Um, the list to your left is the accurate list that came from uh, working with Kittredge. So, that um, cost estimate is based on Kittredge numbers provided. Uh, they deliver and set up in the location, and then you have to pay a plumber, electrician to connect all those things. And there's a couple. Of, there's a couple of locations we may need additional uh, electrical upgrades, and I know there's a few things in there that uh, we're looking at that may be out of date, code-wise, uh, that we'd want to fix. Uh, and plumbing, uh, everything looks like it's in good shape, so there's not a lot we need to do there. Will there be a way to not have this gas stove running all the time? Will they be able to be set up so the switches kind of balance off and on? No, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, it may be the more modern stoves have an electric, like the one in probably your house. So that may be the case here. I'd have to check for John. Oh, I probably have figured they probably got electric Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
shut off and I went off. He used it before me, never turned the burners off. They turned the shut off off and I with a stove, so I turned it on. And boy, I'm telling you, I knew it blew all the dust bunnies right out from under it and scared the hell out of me. I don't recommend turning it off. I think better not to. I just, but my, my concern is that the pilot said if the commercial stove, the pilots are on all the time. Mm -hmm. It's not being used in the restaurant. So just the propane's just being consumed. Mm -hmm. yep. So I don't I don't know. There might be maybe where commercial stoves have maybe electronic ignition. I think that's maybe probably something. the case. Yeah. Yeah. But I I can confirm that. <clears throat> Any other questions from the board? No, oh, I, I like the proposal. I, I saw someone in there said this is all written in that reason. Um, I think somebody, there's a lot of time put in pot, put in the mm -hmm. floor plan wise and the equipment, and uh, I would love to see that yeah. in addition to the proposal to be able to use. I think it's a great tool building the way to use it. And the church there. You folks want to keep this, sir? Um, do you guys want to keep it? You're good. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Dick, what do you think about it? So it definitely matches with the criteria of the copy phone. Motion. Yeah. I'll make the motion. We approve it. Second. Do you want a dollar figure in there? Like Fifty-two. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a figure there somewhere. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Five thirty. Right. Fifty-two. Five thirty. Yeah. 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 So I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is five. Yeah, that's right. You're welcome. Good luck with it. So we have some more business of Copley Trust. Want to do the minutes? I wasn't there. <laughs> I didn't think you were there. I, it, said, it said you were there. Second. Whoa, that's a for the minutes then. So I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? And make that Dick not present. Oh. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion is passed. Do we have any other business to copy trust? We will, I hope we see tomorrow a copy of the 90 with the federal government and we have to send that email. Send it to you by email. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right. We'll leave copy trust and go into a regular meeting. Dan, are there any changes or additions to the meeting? Oh, You're welcome. Thanks for the presentation. Good luck. Good to see you, Betty. All right, next. You said there's no no changes. Approve the minutes. The minutes of October 19th, 2020. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Here's the dog. Play a moment, though. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Next, we have community concerns. Do we have any community concerns tonight? Seeing none. I guess I, I just go ahead, sir. One question, Don Miguel. Um, here, four weeks ago. Uh, quick question. So, one is, is there any intent tonight to continue the conversation around the AP? Oh, I'll uh, 
seeing how I was appointed liaison for that project. Uh, no, there was nothing planned until probably after our budget discussions take place, which is going to take most of our time, I expect. And uh, meeting, any meeting will be duly warned and because uh, we're going to encourage all participation we can get from everybody concerned. And as a matter of fact, I talked to the sheriff today and uh, he and I are going to meet within a couple of days and just have a informal discussion so that we're all on the same page here. Because we're doing that. Actually. Like it's the building publicly owned that they just approved. Yeah, could uh, could people listening mute your microphone? Because it's really disturbing our meeting. Unless you're ready to say something. Thank you. So, did I answer that for you? So, you just one quick follow up, Gary. So sure. I take that to mean there wouldn't really be any conversation at the board level until February, March? I would expect that to be the case. Yeah. 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 When's the budget process usually end for you, January? Before that, well, <laughs> we hope, <laughs> we hope. <laughs> but it's, it's going to be after that. I guess yeah, it'll it be, be March, probably, or April. I, don't yeah, know. I, I would hope it'd be a little bit before that, but uh, February, March, in order to give everybody time to get comments in and for us to listen to the proposals from the ATV community and, you know, be able to go from there. And, uh, so we just take everybody. Concerns under advisement, and we see what we end up with. It's pretty early to tell right now, and I'm I've been getting a few phone calls, and I tell you know there's no reason to get up in arms because like the ATV season is over with, and we're not going to act on anything until early spring for sure. So, and again, you'll be duly informed as to when and if and what's going to take place so we can get all the input that we can get to make an informed decision. Yeah, if you don't, if we don't have your email address, you can make sure that we have it and then you'll be notified. Right. I think you do. Yeah. Okay, does that sound good? Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, Mr. Three, Levere. Uh, just, uh, Little information thing. The new bridge uh, coming from the schoolhouse towards my house. There is a. I don't think they went far enough with the guardrail. There is such a big drop off right there that if somebody slides down that hill or you know how you get ice storms in the winter and stuff? That's an awful drop off there. On the downhill side? Uh, yeah. yeah. And I just don't think they went far enough with the guardrails to protect anybody coming down that hill. And, uh, we can take a look at that. Yeah, I, I think you should take uh, yeah. a really good look at it. You know, there's places we put guardrails up, and um, that we haven't had guardrails, and that really makes you pay attention to all the spots. There's a lot of spots that are open like that, and you know we've been lucky not to have bad accidents. But I know what you mean. We've, uh, uh, it's just an informational thing, and I think uh, if somebody went off there, they'd get hurt really bad. It's a long way down there. Thanks for bringing it to our attention. We'll check it out. Appreciate it. Is there any more community concerns? We'll move into new business. First, discuss the appropriation request for RCT. Thanks, Lee. Is there somebody on the phone to speak about RCT? 
Uh, yes, uh, Lila Bennett from RCT is here, as is Jen Wood from Green Mountain Transportation. Welcome. Thank you. Um, do you have questions or should I just sort of give an overview first? An overview would be good. We have the paper in front of us, a couple of them. Okay, great. So um, in the past, RCT has asked for appropriations from Morristown just for sort of to cover our volunteer driver and dialer ride program, um, yeah. which is where we take people to medical appointments and schools and and other appointments like that with vehicles. We haven't been asking for um, any appropriations to go toward our bus service because primarily it has been done by GMT. Um, starting in July, July 6th of 2020, RCT took over most of the routes from GMT. There's just the mountain shuttle that GMT is operating. And so what we're trying to do is separate our requests. Um, so GMT has always asked for the money that RCT is asking for for bus service, but um, because we're sort of separating the service, we're trying to separate the asks as well. Um, we're not asking for more money at all, just where it's going. So last year, RCT asked, our appropriation request was $5,200. And that was just for the dial -out ride program. And so last year, uh, we did 5,692 trips to 146 residents. Uh, we traveled 120,606 miles for a cost of 113,918. And that is just the, the, the dial -a ride program. Um, this year, we are t asking for the appropriation amount that GMT has been asking for in the past. So that brings our total to $10,963.01. So it so looks- So am I right? So, yeah. so you're just gonna be doing all of it instead of GMT now. Right. And so even though it looks like our CT is asking for more money, we're, we aren't really. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a little confusing. No, I understand it. You guys all understand? Yes. No, but we appreciate the explanation. And also, uh, a lot of times in the past, when we have appropriations from different groups, we we often wonder, what's it for? You know, a lot of our taxpayers ask us, well, what's that money for going to RCT or GMT or any of these other groups? And it's nice to see the, um, you know, the whole thing articulated well. Brian Kellogg here has a question. Oh, so I just want to you know, I put this on the agenda tonight because it is a change in appropriation, and that way if the board wanted anything different, there was time for them to want to do it or not. So that's the reason why it's on the agenda tonight. Okay. It's in front of you plenty of time before right. the calendar. No, that makes sense. So this is one of these good to have in our packet for town meeting. Yeah, today. the new one. So it, that's the one. RCT one. Because GMT is going to no longer be, and it's all going to be RCT. So the, Pretty appropriate. the RCT one is from September, or is it the October one? It's kind of confusing. So the October one. The October one? Yes, the October the, letter has 10,000 on it. 10,000. 10,963 and one cent. Okay. Yeah. If someone asks a question from the floor, then I'm not going to remember from now until March. All right. Is there any other questions from the board? What did the GMT receive last year? What, what is it going to look like? What's the point? RCT is given what they received plus the new appropriation, given a total of 10,900. What was GMT's? Appropriation last year. It was uh, uh, 
I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah this is. Yeah. All right, can you hear me? Yeah. Part 752, and just add them together, and that's what I'm saying. Okay, right. So that's what I'm saying. Is now GMT won't be asking anybody at all. Right. I didn't know it was a form. No, that makes sense. Did you have something further you wanted to, to say? No, this is Jen from GMT. I was just going to say uh, I'm having a hard time hearing some of what you're saying, but I, I'm here in case you had questions also for GMT. But Lila explained it well, and you just said the amount. So last year, I was able to come see you in person. Um, and yeah, it was the 5,763 that we requested um, for, you know, in last year's request. So now we're just it's the same amount that the RCT is asking for since they took over the service. And that was the amount that we used to request for that same service that they're now completing. So, so, so follow up with my question. My question for you is, is GMT going to come to the town this year for a proposal for some other dollar figure? If that was the extent of your total uh, amount last year, are you going to be coming to us for a, a different amount? For another appropriation? No, so GMT is not requesting anything. We're, I'm just here supporting Lila to sort of, because it is confusing because we're sort of passing the baton. So GMT isn't submitting any requests since RCT is now taking up the service. So it will all go to RCT. Sure, that and sounds I, good. Yeah, I, it would be a new proposal, but it would require, that's what I was trying to get the mechanics so of it. If there was a new request for funding, it was going to have to go through that process again. So yeah, it's not going to happen. Thank you. We we appreciate you both uh, being here to explain it or being via phone, but we understand it. Right. Do we have to do? I have concerns for the board, and then I'll write. The first morning when I get to I'll write it. Like it. Combine them. That sounds good. Yep. The one is just that I didn't want any surprises. Right. Uh, no, it's good to have it all explained. I think we're all set. Okay. Appreciate it. So um, I, just, I just want to make sure that we are we're all set, and I don't need to petition, and it's going. You, we're all on the same page. We're on the same page. You don't need to petition. We're going to uh, we're going to fund it. You you guys are wonderful. We do really appreciate you taking the time and understanding how important it is for our organizations. You know, the appropriations helps a lot. So thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you for the, uh, the service you guys provide. Great. Have a Thanks wonderful a evening. Yeah. Have thank a great you. evening. Thank you. you too. Bye-bye. Okay. Two, approve the payment cut application from Grand Minx. I think the only different about this one right now is, is that typically we have a price for what's going to be. This one's kind of short notice on it. And we've worked it out with Graham where we're going, he's going to reimburse us for all of our costs associated um, with doing the hatch. So, okay. Where, where is it? Where, where is this one located? On the, Jersey Heights, right across the, the right house, the, right. right there, just as you go past the old um, you know, restore, basically. The, uh, yeah. Store. Here's where I'm talking. I do. Just down the road of the way from Jersey Heights across on the left hand side. Okay. There's a, the big red house that's been for sale. Yep. Graham bought that, and if you right. just past that, you can see where he put his stakes on around yeah. the build up behind it. Cut's going to be right there. Yep. And I think most of that is pretty close to the curb right there. Because I don't think we're too far out into the road. Okay, okay, into the sewer there. Is that what he's up to? Yeah, the sewer and water. Yeah, because I know the sewer is right on the very edge. Here. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it is. So really, we really shouldn't be, hopefully, we won't be hitting the road, and they won't get the road much at all. Do I hear? So I, think, I think he needs a secretary. I can't read his writing. <laughs> not only that, there's nothing that tells us where it is. Right. Yeah, I made describe it. where. Right. Uh, I made a note on my where. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> no, this one was kind of quick. Yeah. Right. We needed to get it done because of the weather. Yep. So, <coughs> sounds good. 
Do we have a motion? Is, can I ask a question? Go ahead. So does this is this document kind of official or something? Does it get does I, it get uh, like file file. Yeah. So maybe someone could write in there where it is. Yeah. I think there was a drawing that we can print. Okay. Thank you. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? I just voice my displeasure of having the paper cut this late for you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I understand it may not have been the time that he wanted either. I just, we get this close to frozen ground and snow and whatnot. It's not a great time to be compacting them. Right. So. It's going to be 60, either two. Not cold yet. Yeah. Not cold yet, Eric. We're hoping to get done this week. Exactly. Well, you have it all cut and tied in with the ball. And you'll do a final inspection as far as that goes. Make sure it's been <laughs> work. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Number three, review and approve the loan bids for the highway truck. Motion to be approved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Number four, hire part time temporary for highway department. Well, the team has agreed to come back on a temporary part time basis to help out this winter, um, which is where we are. And then they're going to start. Bringing back is just, you know, makes a lot of good sense for the highway department because the equipment he does, the routes he does, everything that we do, um, and it won't affect his retirement. So we need to be sure that, that she's worked with him and the favor people so that he doesn't do it. We, we've kind of adjusted this because, he, of course, he won't be giving any benefits. He knows how to run our Volvo loader pretty well. And this is a five year contract, right? Huh? I'm going to hire Dean Shadow as a temporary part time employee for every department at a rate of $27.70 per hour with no benefit. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? You realize he's going to get up early, so. <laughs> <laughs> you, you realize he's probably just starting tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Number five, discuss and approve the private road name. Leslie Small. I know where that is. Ava's way. No conflicts. Do I hear a motion? Make a motion we accept the name Abel's Way for the new name road for subdivision. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? The only thing I would say is, I, I it makes no difference to me except that they are not going to put an apostrophe on this road sign because it goes against their policy. Right. So it's going to be a vast way. <laughs> it's okay, they know what it is. <laughs> Pronunciations. Maybe they can put a space in between the S. Right. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Number six, errors and omissions. This is one that uh, Terry sent me, the appraiser, and this, this actually started with the state. They came back to us and said that this parcel has to be taxable. Um, I know it's been around before, there's been a lot of discussion about this particular parcel that's done by LCPC. She, you know, uh, Terry did reach out to LCPC, they understand it. And so, it's not a lot of choice. She has to submit this to you as far as the energy is to have this parcel be taxed on. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? 
All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Number seven, appointments to the LC, LCPC Board of Directors and Transportation Advisory Committee. So do you want to change the length of time from the two year or three year? Is that the question here? The term? What do we need to do here, Dan? Well, Judy's already the one representative. I forget the name of it. Bob. 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 The board never appointed anybody to the PAC, the Transportation Advisory Committee. Um, so. <laughs> Judy wants to do it. No, I don't. <laughs> Bob wants to do it. He's not here. <laughs> That's right. Nominate Bob. He'll be calling me. <laughs> So is that what we need to do, appoint somebody? And um, as far as I understand, it's, it's, it's however long you want to do. You, you want to serve on the board of directors. So what do, we want to do? what do you want to do, Judy? I'm already on there, and I'm on a, right. another committee on that committee. Right. So I think that's enough for me. <laughs> but you're talking about years? Well, talking about either. <clears throat> do we have any any possible person who wants to, to do it? We'll grind it later. Yeah. I can't think of anybody off the top of my head. Do we have to do it right now? Yeah, do we have to do it now? Meeting? Yeah, you don't have to do it right now. But Let's think about it. Can well. we just figure it out? Let's put Lee Beer on there. He'll have to go tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll take that under advisement. Figure it out. Well, I mean, for the board point, you need to go back. The, the regular board go back to July first. So I think that's what the LCPC is. They didn't normally they contact us. They right. But they didn't because of COVID or whatever. Exactly. So do we do anything tonight on that? Well, if Judy's wanted to stay on it, and Bob's willing to stay on it, I would say if we could point them for at least one year. Right. Um, if Judy wants to stay longer. Um, and then consider when you would like to use the pack, and I can put that back on to the next agenda. Are you willing to do one year or oh, more sure. than one year? I can do two. Two? Yep. Have you heard anything from Bob to see? He goes to the meeting. He does. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll put it back on there for two then. Yes. <laughs> Do I hear a motion? So moved. In a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. So we'll figure out the tax. All right, next. Old business. Do we have any old business? You're none, no liquor control tonight. Approve the warrants. Make a motion and approval. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. Next, TA report. Um, just a few things for me. Of course, tomorrow's election day. We get a chance. In the clerk's office, have been putting out an amazing amount of work and moving this collector. I just stop by and say thank you. They've really got some thin buses in there. It's been extremely busy in there. Lots of questions, lots of things going on for them. So, just I know a lot of you guys work tomorrow, but they've, they've put an enormous amount of effort in pulling off this collection. And everything that I've seen so far, they've, they've done a great job of answering people's questions. Of course, you got the budget books tonight. Tina, I think, is for the schedule in there. Yeah. For you know what this, the budget schedule looks like. Um, of course, that you know, it will change if we have to. Um, but it is, and I think we start the next meeting with that budget discussions. Um, just so everybody knows, um, it must have passed through the legislature, and I, I never got it. But, um, we did get an extra fifty-six thousand um, dollars from, uh, from the state for Highway Eight this year. So for temporary. 
temporarily what I did was I put it in the infrastructure fund. Um, and that's just to help us offset some of the cost right now, some of the land purchase that we've made. So, um, so you know where it's at, and it does show up in your financials. And then uh, speaking for the land purchases, everything that we need to get done is done so far. We're really waiting on the attorneys to, to get through the closings. We've got everything done. So um, we're moving through all that process right now. But it's just taken a while to get new things you know, back through the attorneys. Uh, Things are moving along on that front. It's just going to be a while before you see that for finance because I think a lot of the attorneys are backed up right now. Um, people refinancing and everything else. Right now. So um, it's busy for that. So that's all I really got. Okay, any questions for Dan? Thanks, Dan. Other concerns. Judy. I just have a request that when we are in a meeting and there's women in the meeting, but we don't use the term guys to refer to all of us. Mm -hmm. I would just ask for that to be considered. Guys? I don't think you guys want to be talk called girls all the time. I don't mind. I don't no. mind. I don't mind. Don't mind. Don't no. Mind no. I'm not that way. I don't care. Hey, say, hey, you. <laughs> but that's me. I don't know. It's, just, it's been a pet peeve of mine for a very, very long time. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. I just like the consideration of not being considered a guy. Yeah. Did we do it tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't even know we did it. <laughs> no, it's pretty common. I mean, yeah, I don't use the term myself. Yeah. But I just, just purpose, raise but awareness yeah. that maybe it's a moot point because of all the uh, terminology and he, she, her, him. Right. But um, I don't know. It's just well, I know, I know, like, in my job, we've had all this sensitivity training and stuff, and but that is one term that's been termed, been deemed acceptable acceptable guy yeah and and so we're allowed to say it you know we're in meetings but i'm sensitive to it and if you don't want to be called a guy then i won't call you a guy thank you well, i appreciate that. that i'm gonna say i'm gonna try not to <laughs> yeah yeah because <laughs> yeah. yeah i wouldn't do it on purpose so. i know it's just it's yeah. a common practice that we're not that everybody mm -hmm. i just know it's in uh, you know the classroom of being it's it's that's what's used all the time you know, ladies and gentlemen, or gang, or something. People. People, yeah. That's the school teacher, and you're coming out. What you gotta do is get something you throw at us if we do it. Yeah, yeah. Like ruler. Like Whack it with a ruler. Nothing very hard, though. Yeah. Well, I have a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> Nerf guns. <laughs> Thanks for the input, though. Gary, how about you? Uh, I just had one question by somebody. Call me. I want to know how things stand on the cemetery issues. I'm really waiting for Sarah to get through the election. Okay. I mean, she picked out the software. You know, and she, I know she contacted that vendor. I'm sure she signed off on the, the contract for that. But right now, she's so busy. She's, <laughs> she's got other things to do. Yeah. Between the election <laughs> and taxes are coming up here shortly. Yeah. She, she okay. just had zero time to put into it. I mean, yep. that's fine. That's, that's, she, she knows it there. And the only other thing I was going to do is just bring up the ATVs, but we've already done that, so I'm good. Is, is there going to be like an ad hoc committee? I mean, you're the ad hoc committee, but is yeah. there going to be like a gathering of people before you? I would expect uh, probably Dan and myself and uh, the Green Mountain ATV representatives. <coughs> I would assume that the way it would work is that we would get together first. And see what their proposal is because we don't even have anything to act on. We don't know where they want to go or what they want to do. I mean, we've got to have, we've got to have something to start with, and then uh, after that, and then, like I told them earlier, that we we'll advertise it and get some input, and see where we can go from there. That sounds like a good That's idea. That's the way I would envision it happening. The big thing, since uh, there's so many on each side of the aisle, to make sure everybody has uh, been warned, you know, been been informed of when right. the meeting's going to happen, we can be make sure that happens on both sides. How about you, Brian? I'm all set. Eric? I was spoken to by a citizen that lives in the area of Union Street, and they aren't so concerned about this, the issue of uh, feeding. 
but for the summer months, there was some increased traffic over through there. Um, and on several occasions, the cars, when folks were, you know, back to get from the village from Honda Street to Sun Street, kind of thing, they inquired about summertime use of temporary speed bumps on the street. They could going be put in place to try and keep that kind of behavior at a minimum. I just put that out there that they didn't make a formal request to come to the board. I told them that it would probably be best served to come to us and uh, we're at the town meeting. Because we're getting ready to open things up for the spring, but uh, we need to hear from them. Mm -hmm. There's the one person speaking has spoken to a lot of the folks on that area. Well, the board is not on the smoke screen, but apparently she's kind of fell off. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Is one of them that has concerns about the speed down through the next eight traffic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have um, actually had a couple of people out of the blue since uh, we paved North Gate. Uh, both both parties, and I I think it's not a bad idea to have um, if we could somehow delineate the two lanes, the lane that comes through, you know, that goes the length of that parking lot and empties out by Union Bank, and the one that's closer to Brooklyn Street. If somehow we could have, and I know this is a pain because uh, I'm thinking about snow removal, if we could have a curbing or something so people can't just go across the lanes because they do all the time. And somebody almost got hit just a couple days ago, and the guy called me right up and he gave me a hard time and said, If you pave that road and that is our road, we should have it be, you know, delineated so people can't just cross here and there. And you know, Richard, to do it all the time. And I agree with it. I think it would be great to have two lanes, you know, and people go like they're supposed to, because people don't. They they get to that little inlet and they just go right across, which, you know, it's illegal to do that, but people are going to do it as long as they can. And I'm just thinking if we could, I don't even know if it, you know, something to talk to Howard about or something we could do to put some curbs up there to make, make it separate. So they have to go the way they go. You've got a lot of experience with that, Gary. Uh, I, I, I enjoy I your about conversation. That. Yeah. Yeah. I would think if we at least striped it, it would help. Yeah. 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 I think you're right. But I, you know, strike it and leave a area where you go down between the the parking, parking oils and then the stripe area. it again and yeah. Um, but it's funny since the new pavement was there, I had one person chase me down to the grocery store to tell me that, and then another person called me. I, I, I never liked that white of the curb like that. Yeah. Oh. Well, people have to cut if, if it's striped for parking, people cut across the parking, and you know that's an age-old thing that happens all the time. But Denny, you had a comment? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's the state was aiming it. Yeah. <laughs> because right. I go there a lot. Because I deal with you, you're back to bed. Yep. And it was bad enough before. Mm. Nobody knows how to use the directionals. No. No. They do cut right across. But now it's a racetrack because it's nice and smooth. Right. If you had it all bumpy and rough, people weren't going as fast as they're going right now. No. The only way to stop it is jury and jersey barriers. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> if we own the road, too bad for help. Right. I mean, I know we got them because we use them down here on flying right up. Right. Because they won't cut them down. But somebody who's been there, gone there for over 20 years for heads, mm -hmm. daily. I use that same way every day. Yeah. Twice a day. Down by your work, yeah. they've come a lot faster now than it's been. I go faster down through there. No problem. <laughs> I just never heard, really heard that, right? the road. Do you have any comment about it, Richard? No, I don't. It's a, I know. I knew that there's really nothing unless unless Howard would agree to do it. You know, I don't know that we need Howard to agree, but we we want to be good neighbors too. You know, and I do know the way they plow that. They get side by side and they go the length of that parking lot. You know, and that would be a real pain in the butt for them to try to remove snow on. What do you think about it, Kevin? I mean, I've got the same call over the last couple of weeks by two different people myself. Yeah. Asking why we haven't 
put up some sort of a barrier yeah. between the parking and the two steps that go down through that parking right. wall. It's weird, just since it's been paved, people are like. Yeah, it was. And again, the people that were talking to me said that they were coming out of the parking lot correctly. Right. On the 100 or the <coughs> old road yeah. by, by Pete, and somebody had come out of the bank and just shot right across the parking lot and just shot right out the front of them. That's what they do. And it just. Yeah. So, unless you put a jersey yeah. barrier right there, I made everybody turn. Yeah. Was, was, if, you, if you at least striped it. Gary's yeah, got to go uh, Yeah, if we could stripe it, that would that would help. There's no plan the issue on that. What's that? There's, there's no plan on the issue about not putting some structure there. Well, in my mind, it would be. You know, if I was a snow removal guy, I would not like it at all. But you know, maybe maybe Jersey Bay area. Well, the way I'm thinking, it spreads all the fall after we get done sweeping. It would be something. It powers there. I, again, I want to be good neighbors as well. If that's a hazard, it was like a public safety hazard if we ignore it. It is yeah. a, a public highway through there, a parking lot and that street. And I agree with Gary, the minimum we should strike it, but we could consider like, how we're about to do the Gary's place up to the summer one. Why don't we um, just a, a temporary fix? And I, I think somebody should call Howard before we do it. Um, could maybe could put some more barrels out there? Yeah. So, to, to at least, you know, Try to divert traffic in the right direction. It's you know it, it's not permanent, but it, it gives us a little bit more control. We put it back off the shoulder for right now. That way it's not interfering with the snow farm so much. It, it's maybe something that we can start with. Too. Definitely talk to Howard about it first. Go ahead, Jim. Memory serves correctly. You got to be real careful because they can lose all their parking spots on half that lane because that's a double parking row. I know. Okay. And to be able to pull my 20 foot truck out of that parking spot, right. I'm going to be close to in that road. Right. You're going to lose some, the, the last one. You know, Probably. So I'm, I can't physically remember the distance between yeah. where the stripe is and the road is. But right. you also got to allow for a vehicle to come right. off and then pull in and back in. Take a look at that. What right. we need to do is give new driving. Well, most they of, do it all the way down through that. I mean, you put areas do. up here, and they're still crisscrossing all the way down through there. They can't yeah. drive in a parking lot. No. Yeah. They just, but pretty much almost every day, I leave work, and if I go across there, people from the bank are cutting in in front of me, and I'm just like, okay. You know, they don't wait at the end there. And a lot of times, there's somebody waiting the way they're supposed to, and another person just cuts right out in front of them. And, when they come from the red light, they go all the way on an angle to the bank parking lot. Right. Exactly. They don't come in, take the, the left, take right. the right. Right across. <laughs> Richard sits there and says, yep. Okay. I, they can't drive. I mean, put barriers down through there, too, then. Yeah. No. Be good to talk to Howard. They're, they're stupid. Would, oh. the, would the orange barriers work for what Eric's talking about, too, in the summer? Not the orange barriers. Yeah, I think right now, you know, to, to put jersey barriers out there and plow, at least I think we have probably enough barrels to, to do it. Right. We do. I mean, this is, again, this time of year, putting them up. I, I think Eric is talking more to do it in the spring, summer, and fall months and leave it alone for the winter. We got to make it. We need that for that snow. Get them trained. Uh, mm -hmm. Us as well as Howard. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to bring it up because it's just interesting. People, since it's been paved, it's really been highlighted. And then parking lots too. So. Yeah. And it's dangerous. Like, I'm, I just wanted something to consider, like in Union Street. In some of those smaller streets, if there was a barrel in the middle of the road, a couple of them, it would prevent people from. In the I'm not sure they'd stay there very long. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. I'm pretty sure we'd buy more barrels. Yeah. Or pick them and have a gully out in Walmart Street. Okay. Any other business? Denny. Just a question. Yes, sir. Did you sell the property on the street? Not yet. Okay. It is under contract. It is under contract. But it's not sold. That's what I want. Yeah. It has to go through the DRB process and everything first. Interested? Huh? Interested? Fire department is. You won't get no taxes. <laughs> right. But yeah, I mean, 
whether they got somebody who legitimately wants to do something with it, you right. know, inspire them from the down and sell it and get the taxes off it right, to develop it and have us use it for a training. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? And over we are in this session to discuss appointment or employment for evaluation of the post office for our employee under the provision of how long such a computer can be done, pay three of the last batches, including the money, and pop-ups. I'll get away from my office. Yeah. Yeah, Dan's not coming in with us. Oh, okay. So no. If you need me, I'll get my office. Yeah. Like that. Do you need these things for time? Yes, please. Thank Could you. Could I have a second? Second. Second. Here's sign. Thank you.